Now to the bid for Amazon's second headquarters. Boston appears to be betting on Suffolk Downs as the site that it hopes will win over the retail giant. If Amazon picks Boston, it could create as many as 50,000 jobs here. But one economist we spoke with says be careful what you wish for. WBZ's Christina Hager has our story. Deadline day for communities vying for Amazon's second headquarters. I think that would be awesome. But some experts warn, be careful what you wish for. The $5 billion in investment and the 50,000 jobs Amazon promises come at a cost. There are real trade-offs in being the winner. Seattle now experiences high inequality, not enough affordable housing. Could we handle the added traffic? We can't handle it now. I mean, we have to upgrade the T if that's going to happen. Boston, Cambridge, and the surrounding area is already a hub for high-tech innovation. Now, some of those high-tech companies are concerned Amazon might come in like a giant and poach from their workforce. James Besson heads up BU Law's Technology and Policy Research Initiative. I've talked to one company a couple weeks ago where they were talking about how they've, they've lost a couple of key employees to an Amazon subsidiary here. Um, that may just sort of thing may just happen more frequently if Amazon headquarters are here. New Hampshire's pitch is all about Boston's weaknesses. Choose Boston and next year when you leave your tiny $4,000 a month apartment only to sit in two hours of traffic trying to make your way to an overburdened airport, you'll be wishing you were in New Hampshire. Back in Boston, Mayor Walsh says urban infrastructure can only help. They want to be close to the airport, so I don't think any bid in America will be as close as that to the airport. I mean, you're literally three minutes away. That and more than 20 Massachusetts offers delivered by midnight for better or worse. Everyone wants a piece of Amazon. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.